All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Tashika Lewis, and I'm here with a good friend of mine from the Stuttering community. His uh, name is Aiden. And uh, welcome to our conversation about stuttering in the Black community. Uh, we're both African Americans who stutter, and we want to share our experiences to help others understand and relate to our journey. So, yeah. Aiden, how are you doing today? I'm I, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on this chat. I believe this is a really important topic for us to do. Um, stuttering in the Black community is something that I feel needs more representation and needs more conversations about. So I'm really excited to have 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 this talk. Oh yes. Okay. I'm really excited too. I know we've been, we've been trying to get together for uh, quite some time, so I'm glad we were able to make this happen. Yeah. So let's. Uh, let's start by talking about our personal journeys with stuttering. Now, for me, it's been a lifelong experience. I'm now 50 years old, and I've only recently started to truly accept my stutter. Can you tell me a little bit about your journey? Yeah, for me, myself, my journey was something that was a long process to overcome a lot of personal struggle and plight, I would say. Um a lot of, I believe, preconceived notions about me as an individual, as a Black man in this world, in this community, having a lot of representations of me being one thing in people's minds, and then from me kind of, kind of shift, shifting and also trying to be in the skin of a person who stutters was just a lot to combat with. So only until recently, I would say, with the journey of arts, has it really helped, helped me in, like, learning to be more comfortable in my own skin, but also with my um with my speech and my I'm stuttering too. Agreed. Arts is definitely helping me on so many levels. Uh in addition to open stuttering, it's also helping me with uh recognizing some other things that I wanted to uh focus on in life, such as uh anxiety and uh reducing um my myself in stress re reducing uh occurrences of when I am losing sleep over stressful situations. And it's also helping me to communicate better with individuals in my family. So I'm very grateful uh, to the arts therapy. Yeah, to, to add on, I, I, I wanted to ask, ask, ask you, did you have, uh, did, 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 did you see this large journey shift when you first started arts? Or was arts arts that a that a that a catalyst that kind 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 of helped facilitate that change? It's been a journey for me, be, be because I spent a lot of time focusing on being comfortable, identifying uh, as as a person who stuttered. So throughout my introduction uh, to arts, I sat in that space for quite some time, just focusing on knowing how to feel comfortable in, in my own skin as being a person who stutters. And I'm, I'm still working on that uh, today, along with reducing some of my avoidance techniques that I use to hide stuttering. Uh, like for an example, I, I'd often pretend to forget what I was going to say Mm -hmm. I used to use a lot of filler words or even roll my eyes when I was in the middle of a block, which sometimes made it look like I was having a seizure. Yeah. And most recently, I have been monitoring these weird postponements that I've been using in my communication where I would postpone on word, I, I would postpone in, in, in the middle of actually speaking, waiting for the anxiety level to die down b before I would go into the open stutter. So I'm currently working on that and it is translating into some high frequency mm -hmm. of stuttering, but I am learning to feel uh, a little bit more comfortable with it. So did, did you develop any similar coping me mechanisms to hide your stuttering? Yeah, I would say for me, definitely for for, for sure. A lot of avoidance behaviors or secondary behaviors that I developed were largely due to 
big pieces of anxiety and a lot of stress that I um carried. I always I, I I always sometimes joke and say that when I first walk into a room, there's three things that people first notice about me. One is that I'm a black man. Two is that I'm a bigger person, and three is that I'm a big big black black man. And a lot of individuals have these certain looks when they see me walk into a room, and that level of of gaze carries a lot of stress to me personally. And when it comes to my speech, I sometimes feel as though I have to hold a certain role in other pe pe people's minds. So this heightened a lot of my sense of sense sense and use of sec secondary behavior, behavior, behaviors and of and a avoidance. So I would do 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 things like say less, avoid opportunities to 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 speak as you said i i, I would for, for forget what i i i wanted to say or just do anything to a, avoid speaking and showing signs of stuttering because i viewed stuttering as weakness in this case and that was always a challenging thing to go through that was always a very very tough thing to kind of bow because i felt so i had had to be this certain thing in pe people's minds and yet i was struggling with this weakness i i felt i had in in, in my 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 voice And arts really helped show me the power of my voice. It helped really show show me that I'm capable of so much with a stutter and that it's a beautiful part of, of me. Indeed, I do agree with you 100% about being judged as soon as you walk in, into the room uh, for uh, different uh, stereotypes and to add uh, stuttering uh, to those other things that you're being judged on uh, can be a little bit difficult. Now, uh, for me, I also avoided public speaking. Uh, I didn't feel really feel comfortable with uh, public uh, speaking in addition to being a person who stutters. So that affected me in many areas where I would feel anxious before job interviews. I would feel anxious when I wanted to have meaningful conversations uh, with my family. Um, even selecting a career, I found jobs that I thought didn't require a lot of uh, communication or, or oral communication. So I pursued being a typist, you know, at a law firm, or yeah. I tried to find jobs where I didn't think that I would need to do a whole lot of of uh, communication, thinking that it would minimize my interaction with others. But I learned that that was not a solution. Uh, all communication is going to come up in any, you know, type of job that, that you have. So as far as your uh, professional uh, choices, how have you been uh, successful in your professional career being a person who, 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 who stutters? Yeah, for me, for sure. Um, I would say when it came to my line of work, I actually began as a researcher because I could sit in a lab and not talk with anyone. And it was a very enjoyable experience because I would just go into lab, do what I needed to do. And all of my work was shown through my process and through my um, results, not through my level of effectiveness as a communicator, not 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 through my ability to give a speech or so and that was what felt comfortable to me but I quickly realized that the lack of human in interaction was very difficult for me I enjoy being with uh, other human beings and then me personally I really enjoy being in social environments too and I had a career shift and a pivot to where it took me a while to figure it out but I really loved helping people people, especially in, in, in their fitness journeys in life. So I became a fit, fitness coach because okay. I could just talk to people and not only just talk to people, I could instruct, teach, share my own, un, share my own, un, share my own knowledge on, on things solely through my voice. And that was a very, very amazing opportunity for me to kind of just grow and learn that. I can have self-efficacy and high self-esteem just by knowing the power of my voice. And that was a really important thing for me and, and seeing the missed opportunities that I 
I would blame my stuttering on was such a such a very very power, power, powerful thing because I am still so cap capable of so much. Andy, that's good advice for anyone that is uh, watching uh, to kind of think about uh, being a person who stutters and uh, not letting that deter you from uh, following uh, a passion that you may have uh, for your career or a hobby or even making those uh, personal uh, connections in life. Yeah. Yeah. So recently I've, you know, when I started the arts journey, it's been a game changer for me uh, because I've been able to recognize some of my avoidance uh, techniques, but also lean into some of the feelings associated with uh, shame that comes before, during, and after a uh, stuttering experience. So where I am now in my journey is uh, focusing on how to deal with those emotions. And I'm even uh, exploring, uh, maybe talking to uh, additional um, mental therapists to supplement the therapy that I'm going through uh, with arts. Mm -hmm. So it's ever uh, evolving for me. Yeah, yeah. It's a very, very gradual process for for one but is there so much moving pieces and change to it as well and i would definitely say that when it comes comes to arts it's a it's a it's 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 a journey we always talk about about, about, about the word journey and process and i want to say 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 that when it comes to when i first started started arts <laughs> it was really difficult for me at first I remember my first time going in, it was actually my very first time meeting other people who stuttered. And I quickly saw and realized that seeing others stutter, I was projecting onto them so much insecure curiosities and self-hate that I had towards myself and how I talked. And I had a very rocky start at first, but what kept me coming back was the shared experiences was seeing other people who stuttered, other Black individuals who stuttered, finding a sense of community, which was such an important piece to my ability to find community and also just have 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 a self self esteem 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 too. Um, and thanks so much for sharing on that piece of you trying to supplement it as 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 well. I did I I did talk there there therapy for a while to support my arts journey because it was so much of a mental process a different shift in perspective that I had to challenge to and and go 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 through it as well so thanks so much for being vulnerable and sharing that. Yes, indeed. Uh, while I am a part of the uh, arts community, I don't see a lot of. Uh, Black uh, females in the um, space that I am currently in. So I am uh, seeking out to meet more uh, Black females uh, in, in the stuttering uh, community. I'm on a quest to uh, make that uh, connection. I am so fortunate uh, to be a, a, a part of this uh, therapy, but I often wonder if there are many others uh, black, brown uh, individuals that uh, do not get the support to uh, seek out speech or mental therapy uh, because of the associated uh, stigma uh, that comes about uh, in, in our culture. Are you able to speak to that a, a little bit about just the stigma about therapy in general uh, in, in the black community? Yeah, I think when it comes to the Black community and men, 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 mental health resources and support, it can be seen as a sign of weakness. It can be seen as a sign of not having everything right or together. And there's so much high expectations on us as Black individuals. I think that when it comes to a lot of what we sometimes try to try, try to seek may come with a lot of opinions, gaze, things that may cause and lead, lead, lead to stress that may be a lot more challenging for us as, as black and, and 
individuals. I think that's why it's so important for us to find and build that community as well to to Tashika be because there may be a lot of people who are watching this and they feel as though they may not have other people who understand or people that they don't have a chance to talk with and communicate with and still carry so much negative stigma and perception around talk there therapy or other mental health resources resources sources too and I think that for you and I to be up here and say that we are seeking those resources ourselves or have done it is powerful to 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 some some to someone because we're both successful in our lives in our own ways and that level of 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 support to get us there is crucial so i i would say that and when it comes to the black community we need to be be there for each other to uplift one another and still fight those stig stig stigmas too yes that is very true uh, in this arts therapy program, uh, we focus on discovering our uh, stuttering patterns and also learning coping mechanisms. So it's not about finding a cure because uh, there isn't one for, for stuttering. So I have to keep reminding myself of that. Um, how do you feel about the idea that uh, stuttering can't be fixed? Yeah, when it comes to the idea that stuttering can't be fixed, that's to me personally, that is some something that I find to be for me personally. I, I find that to be a very beautiful thing because it kind of now shifts the perspective of stuttering as a problem and now stuttering as a different way of speaking. And we need to celebrate that. We need to celebrate unique parts of ourselves and different differences and we can find and build communities based on that too as well we're now eliminating all the stigma and perspectives that come to any sort of unique or varied way of life and really allowing ourselves self 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 to be a chance to enact change enact some form of a uh, different change in per perspective and be a um support cast for generations after after us i always say that when it comes to someone who advocates for 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 themselves as a per, per, per person who stutters you're actually advocating for the pe people that are after you too because we're giving a chance to educate those in society a chance to educate those that you're interacting with and seeing that you can be happy and you 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 you, you can be a mother a father you can be a success, successful biz, biz, business individual chase your dreams and stuttering should not inhibit that it's a different way of speak speak speaking and communicating and that is okay that is fine it doesn't have to be fixed it doesn't need to be fixed and that's why i think that is so beautiful about it Yes, those are definitely important points. I found that connecting with other stutterers, especially uh, with you, Aiden, and uh, other people in group has helped me to feel less alone. And it's also given me the uh, courage to do some of the things that I had been holding back on my entire life, thinking that uh, stuttering was uh, going to be uh, you know, a factor in me not being successful in uh, certain areas. So uh, thank you uh, definitely for uh, being that uh, mentor and that friend uh, in, in the uh, arts group. So as we uh, wrap up, is there any advice that you would like to give other black individuals uh, who stuttered? I know we talked about a lot, but uh, especially for those who might be struggling with acceptance or seeking help. Yeah, I was. I always end off with a quote that I, I personally love um, about courage. I always love talking about this quote because it says a lot of what people who 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 sort of have to go 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 through. And I believe courage is some some something where it's not where you're necessarily a knight in shining arm armor going to a fight where you're out num numbered but it's more of the I idea that there is something worth fighting for through all that struggle and 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 through all that pain that you may be experiencing and for those who may be watching if you're a part of a a 
a community or that you are an, or that you are not a part of, of of one that feeling of isolation can get real 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 really tax ta taxing that mental load can get real will be tough but when it comes to things such as arts and other ways in the community me 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 need to find acceptance and love and just being and just the ability to feel seen and heard is so pow powerful and that is being um great just how about you yourself do you have any fun 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 final words Yes, my advice would be for people to remember that your voice matters, uh, regardless of how it sounds, even with the open stutter. So seeking therapy and connecting with others who stutter has been transformative for me. And I encourage others to take that step too. So that would be my advice. Awesome. Right. So thank you for... Thank you so much for this powerful conversation. And I think we could bring this to a close now. Yeah, thank yeah, thank you so much for 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 for, for your time. Bye.